Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today to plan in my um, Illustrated Faith planner, and it is God is Preparing for You Greater Things, and this is my menu planning for the week. I also wanted to share with you a new book I just got. Um, I saw this on Jennifer Ross's channel, um, Pretty Neat Living, <clears throat> pardon me, here on uh, YouTube, and I thought, you know, I do so much, the Forks Over Knives, the Engine 2, the Mark Furman Nutritarian type cooking. I thought it would be fun to go through this. Now, she does use more oil than I would use. Um, she uses things like that. But I found some, I really found a lot of recipes I want to try. So, anyways, I dog-eared some for this week's planning. I encourage you, if you guys are looking to go in, uh, to go to, some of you have asked about vegan cooking. Um, this is a really interesting book. I would tell you that this is a really good first stop. And the reason why is, so it is divided up into, into chapters, of course, you know, sections. And what I really love is at the beginning of each chapter, so say we're on the chapter with greens, she will tell you the basics for cooking greens. And she does that for every single one, and then she goes into recipes that apply to that. So um, I just really thought, you know, first when I heard Jennifer talk about it, I thought, I don't, I don't know, that looks pretty, you know, basic. And then it made me think of Simply Living, and that magazine kind of has that feel, that vibe, I know, right? And I'm glad I ordered it. I mean, clearly, I sat here and read this for two days and picked recipes, and I even have some that I've marked for Christmas, some for now, some for the next couple of weeks, and then some before the year end. So, um, but, long story short, we'll start um, doing our planning decoration and if I can if I don't run out of time um or if I have enough time we'll go through that as well but all right so see I always keep my forks over nice goodies in there but let me see here because I usually have stickers on the back of here and I think I'm going to go with that this week so this is Dollar Tree and I want you guys to know that it does not you do you're not required to spend a lot of money to decorate your planners I, I just hate when people feel like they need to spend a lot of money. You don't. You don't need to. I don't do anything on the monthly. I know. I need to, but I don't. So, and this comes sort of pre-decorated. So that's why I'm just going to go with little bitty stickers or just, you know, easy stickers this time. Something to make me smile and happy and want to look at the page. And, um, but you don't, you don't have to spend a lot of money. And that's what I really like about planning is you get to do it the way you want it to do it. You can use washi. You cannot use washi. I have my washi out, but I'm not going to because I forgot they, they also, they do this here. And um, I just need room to write in this thing. So I'm just going to start and I'm just going to give, you know, just throw some stickers around. Not everywhere, but, you know, there's one, two, three, four different little stickers. That's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to you know, go crazy here. I just, uh, yeah, just something for fun. But, and I love the some sums. I never say that right. But anyways, I love those. Those are so cute. But I wish I would have had Minnie in this. But, and those of you who follow my channel, you know I love Minnie Mouse. So, all right. So I think that's all I'm going to do. Literally, that's it. So I threw some stickers down. I'm happy. It's cute. It makes me smile. And yeah, that's it. All right. And let's see. I will probably pull one of these out and one of these out. So what I do is I make my grocery list on here of the things I don't have in my pantry or fridge or whatever. And then this is I put my snacks on here. So this has been working really well. Um, I know. It's just crazy. And yes, I do do some grocery shopping on my phone, digital phone. And sometimes if I forget these... I will make sure I take a picture of this in case I somehow drop it, lose it, I get to the grocery store before I remember I made a list, any of that. So anyways, and it helps me to write things down always. So I always do breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and then dinner, and then snack. And the reason why is when you change your eating style, do you ever, have you ever heard like when you go eat Chinese food, it's great, and then like, you know, 30 minutes later you're hungry? Well, it's because it's so plant-based. And um, so sometimes plant food really sticks with you and sometimes it doesn't. And so I like to be prepared. I like to plan things that I would actually, you know, that would be healthy. Because when I'm in that like, oh, I don't have any time or I'm too tired to think about it or I'm too busy, 
um, I always grab the wrong things. I don't know about y'all, but I really do. And um, we have rewatched What the Health on YouTube. I know, H E A L T H, What the Health. I highly recommend it. And then, of course, Left Fork, Silver Knives, all of those. And then we rewatched um, on, not YouTube, net Netflix. So I said Netflix. We rewatched um, Joe on the Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. And I think there's only number two on there right now. But um, we love Joe. I mean, we, we do. We have all of his books, everything. I think we have the videos. We have the videos of everything. And we don't own the video for what the hell. But if there's a video to be bought, I should go look that up now because I need to watch that all the time because right now I still eat cheese and I occasionally will eat eggs. And when you watch that video, you don't ever want to eat anything <laughs> but plant food again. And I know that's not for everybody, but it is for me. And one of the really good things, I've had so many, I've had so much problems, and you guys have known this and have been so good about praying for me with my skin this summer, with shingles and, you know, various things. Um, I had forgotten that when you start juicing like that, it builds up your immune system. And I definitely need that. So, all right. So I saw this. This is in the lentil section, and this is lentil walnut dip. So, I want to try this, and I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do this solely, I'm probably going to do a salad, just a green salad, and I'm going to do the lentil, walnut, dip, and this is on page 68, and, um, and that's all I do, so, and then I just tag it, and then I come back through here, and I'm just going to pull things out, I watched today, if you guys don't know this gal, uh, Cooking with Plants on YouTube, Anya. I've been watching her, like, there were 30 days of her eating, and I and something happened at 28, 20, 29, 30, but I'm going to email her later. She's so nice. She answers. I, I, I emailed her, I think, last week, and she answered me. She's so sweet. Um, but anyways, um, she makes quinoa milk. And quinoa is such a fabulous grain, but I can't eat it anymore. And um, it just has to do with my GI tract issues. And I, I love quinoa. I mean, I still crave the taste of quinoa salad. So she made quinoa milk. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make that. That is so easy. And so if you're interested in that, go on her channel. Look for that. Um, how to make, I think it's how to make quinoa milk or whatever. But it is, you know, do a search on YouTube. It is totally fantastic. She encourages me to get way out of my box. Totally. So I really am enjoying her channel right now. And I have several, I think I have two of her cookbooks. Excellent recipes, hands down. Okay, coconut ginger rice with edamame. That is fan, that sounds so yummy that I'd love to have that tonight. But I think I'll make that Tuesday night. Wait, are we going anywhere? I think I'm going to make this out. We usually go out either Monday or Tuesday night um, for various reasons. So I know we're going to go out this week and we just don't have the day nailed down. So if we aren't out that night, then I'll just flip the nights, you know, kind of thing. So, so coconut, ginger, rice, and I love edamame. Um, I don't know if you guys ever, if you guys have a... Genghis Grill by you. They, um, there was a season that they took this off their menu, then they brought it back because it's so good, but they do edamame steamed in the shell and you, you know, of course, and then they have this seasoning they put on it. It was my first real introduction to edamame and it was fantastic. So, and of course I do that for us all the time. I get them at the grocery store now, but it's a really good place to go and try something new and not you know, feel like, oh, now I'm stuck with this, you know, so that's what I would encourage you to do. If there's something you want to try that's new, try it out, and then come home and try to find the recipe or replicate it. That's what I do. So, okay, roasted Mexican spice cauliflower. I won't do heavy spice, but I will do the recipe. So, um, roasted Mexican spice. I'm going to put a line through that because I'm not going to do spiced. And then cauliflower. And this is on page, whoops, 
114. So page 114, and that's that. I forgot the little page thing there. Okay, so, but look, they make kebabs out of it. Isn't that yummy? I mean, seriously, yum. So, and when I go to my sister and brother-in-law's, we usually bring, like, kebabs because they always cook it on the barbecue, and we don't eat meat. And so, um, I always bring things like that, and I think this year that's what I'm going to bring um, at Christmas. They always do, like, big rib things, and we don't do it anymore, but... And this I cannot wait to try. This is chicken-free tofu and apple salad. Yum, yum, yum. I crave. I have this homemade recipe of my um, apple, uh, my chicken salad, and I have never found anything even remotely close to it. So I cannot wait to try this. This looks good. So, and of course I use vegan mayonnaise, so it has a different taste, but. And I'm not, I don't just put apples in it. I put apples and grapes and, you know, walnuts and, oh gosh, it's, it makes me hungry for it right now. And, um, and I don't even eat, eat meat anymore. And there's another thing, like Anya asked for, you know, send me some ideas for recipes and I'll, you know, make something for you, you know. Oh, this sounds yummy. And I think I'm going to make this Tuesday for lunch and then I'm going to kind of nibble on it throughout the week. So this is quick. I love Thai coconut soup, and um, the place that we go that we first tried this, we ate there a couple of weeks ago. Whoops, with our daughter and you know, and her fiance, and um, she got it that they they do chicken. They have chicken in it, and it was just like, ugh. I mean, I loved it. It was so good, and uh, I love mushrooms and green onions and ginger and all that good stuff that they put in it so I can't wait to try that so I wanted to try that for a lunch and like I said I'm gonna have whoops I just pulled my sticker off I'm gonna um have to um you know kind of shush it up a little bit so this looks good too but I'm gonna do portobello fajitas here we have not made this we've had it out and um my husband's always like, he doesn't really like mushrooms. So I'll find something to add in there like tofu or something for protein. But, um, five, okay. And I would do this too, but he hates mushrooms. <laughs> My youngest daughter and I, ooh, we could do that for lunch. Why don't I do that for lunch one day? Okay, so we're going to do that there, so I'll do it over here. Um, creamy. Spinach. Stuffed mushrooms. We love stuffed mushrooms. My youngest, she loves mushrooms. And so, and because she wanted to watch all these videos with us, she is vegetarian. Um, she will eat fish, but I don't know if she'll eat it now after watching that What the Health again because it scares you. You don't want to eat anything but plant. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and I wanted to make this. This is coconut banana pudding. So that is going to go on my little snack paper here. So I, when I grew up, um, banana pudding was everything. My dad loved it, so we had it all the time. And um, I kind of miss some of those things, you know. Not gonna lie. Um, even when I was still vegetarian, I just couldn't quite bring myself to do that because it was, you know, so. Um, fatty, processed, whatever else you want to think. So, yeah. And then, let me see what's back here. Oh, I did want to make these. So, let me see. This is going to be luscious lemon squares. When I grew up, my mom used to make lemon squares, and they were very yummy. And I want to try these so that I, when it comes to Christmas, if these are really good, then I'm going to take these and um through our family christmas and because the more we cut out things in our diet and you know we need to add something fun back in and i think this is it so and that's on page 210 but i want to try some of these recipes you know definitely before we go um you know how that works so all right guys so on sunday we're just going to do leftovers um that is either a leftovers or if i don't have any leftovers whoops sorry guys I'll do like a crock pot of beans. So let me make sure, yeah, we're not totally crooked. 
So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to fill in. So this is going to be um, leftovers from the coconuts, uh, the coconut mushroom soup on Wednesday. And here I'll probably just do my um, Asian noodles for lunch. And then, okay, so we've got all that. And this is going to be leftovers of the stuffed mushrooms for my youngest daughter and I. And I will do something big for brunch. I always do something big here. And I think I'm going to do something with potatoes. I don't know what I'm going to do with potatoes, but I'm going to do something. Like today we're having leftovers from our trip that I had made roasted vegetables, root vegetables. So I have um, carrots. I have tricolor carrots. I have the orange carrots with the chip type cut and they're really good. Um, red onions, um, sweet, oh, mushrooms. I cut up mushrooms and then sweet purple sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, they're so amazing. Um, I put a little bit of the vegan butter in there. Um, in the beginning, I put too much, so I took all that out and because uh, I cooked it in batches. And so with this round, we don't have as much butter. And then I also put in chopped walnuts, and it is so stinking good. It's crazy good. And um, yeah, I mean, you can even put like faux cheese on it if you wanted to, so or vegan cheese. So it's so good. I, so I reheated that, had that for lunch, and I've just got it on the stove top. So if I want to go in, I'm so hungry, and I want to eat another bowl of them, I can eat another bowl of it, you know. It's not going to hurt me. So, um, anyways, so then if I filled in all my lunches, so here we'll probably eat out on lunch. And then, okay, so I'm going to come back in. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is always oats. And oats. And then um, on these days, it's usually like um, fruit. Like, I always have some fruit with nuts or something. On Tuesday, Thursday, I love fruit. I could eat it all day, every day. Like, especially cantaloupe, but I try not to. And on um, this day, I do have a cantaloupe I need to get used up. And then on this day, I have watermelon. And then we will also have what's left of the watermelon for snack. And I have a yellow watermelon, red, uh, red flesh, and yellow flesh watermelon. So... And then I'm going to also do, I do it where you put chunks of watermelon in a bottle and like one of my glass bottles and then you put um, uh, mint in there, mint leaves that I kind of, you know, tear apart so it'll, you know, get exposed all the yummy taste. And then I also do the, um, and then I put lime in there and it sounds like the weirdest combination. The first time I ever had it was it. Um, Whole Foods, I was running errands, I needed something to drink, and I didn't want to get anything bad, so I ran in there and grabbed, that was like a dollar fifty, and it's one of my all-time favorite drinks. It is fantastic. So, anyway, so then I also do the watermelon drinks, and I literally do that in a glass um, bottle, or in a glass pitcher, and I just have that, and we go in and drink that. So, it is yummy. Um, i put pep, and lime drink, okay. And then, um, let's see, is there anything else? I'm going to go back in and fill in with my snacks as we go. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to be making those cookies. I'm definitely going to be, you know, trying different things. And so those will fill in on some of the snacks. But um, I also try to, like if I have fruit then, and what I'm also going to try to do too is do some of my juicing and that's one of the things watching the Fat Sick and Nearly Dead reminded me again is that with skin problems and autoimmune issues, juicing and smoothies are such a good thing to do. And, um, and I will say, Anya does a lot of sweet uh, smoothies, lots and lots of sweets. That's not exactly what I would do, but if you're just getting started or you have kids and you're wanting them to change their diet, I highly recommend I mean, our first juice was not sweet, and so my oldest is always like, ew, juicing, ew, juicing. And so we kind of got her switched over, but, you know, you know, it took a while. Um, she came home and lived with us after undergrad, and so she spent a summer at home, and, 
she came on board. You know, she became, she got really into juicing. So, all right. So I will make my grocery list on here and put that um, in my purse and everything else. So this is my week. That's what I would do. And then I'll go back in, fill in snacks, breakfast, and the potato things usually are like potato casseroles, hash, you know, however you think of, whatever you have. Um, our, our baked um, or roasted vegetables casserole I made like, I think I made two, two, three of those. Anyways, and the idea was we could eat on it for multiple meals. So some things like if I make a big, you know, pot of spaghetti sauce, we have it in multiple meals. You know, we have it different ways. So anyways, but um, so why reinvent the wheel every day, right? Yeah, that's what I think. All right, guys. I know you probably know this so much better than I do. All right, guys. Well, most importantly, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not uh, subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell next to it. And it'll let you know when new videos come up. Um, I'm thinking in the fall, if you guys are interested, give me feedback. Leave a comment below. I'm thinking about doing a cooking video maybe once or twice, you know. Um, I'm not sure, you know, month. I'm not sure if anybody would be interested in that. Um, there's so many great vegan, vegetarian cooks out there. I don't know if I need to throw my hat in the ring on that one. I'm just sharing with you how I plan for it in my planner, because I'm a planner girl. But, um, yeah, so there's that to throw out there. And, um, yeah, so if you have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comments below. Share this if you like it. Um, like it if you like it. And, um... Most importantly, I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. I so appreciate each and every one of you so much. And uh, I just look so forward to talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.